Dental care is not just about preventing cavities. Many people don't realize the importance of gum health. Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to tell you that while cavity prevention is a significant part of oral health, I'm not dismissing the importance of preventing tooth decay, but something that is not talked about enough is your gums. Everyone, when they go to the dentist, they tend to always ask the same question. Do I have any cavities? But something that's arguably even more critical than the health of your teeth is the health of your gums. Gum disease is not only a leading cause of tooth loss, but it's also closely linked to serious health conditions beyond your mouth. In fact, research shows that gum disease has been associated with heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, respiratory infections, kidney disease, pregnancy complications, and more. What's happening in your mouth could be affecting your entire body. The oral systemic connection. Gum disease, also known as periodontal disease, is a bacterial infection of the gums. Yes, it's an actual infection and people often downplay it by saying, oh, I just have bad gums. Mm -mm. When you have a gum infection, it's important to understand that the bacteria causing the infection may not just stay in your mouth. More and more studies are showing that gum disease bacteria like to travel and they can potentially enter your bloodstream because you know, your gums have blood vessels all up in them and that's how they get around. And when this happens, that gum disease bacteria can potentially trigger inflammation throughout your body. And as we know, chronic inflammation is a major risk factor for systemic diseases. For example, heart disease. Studies indicate that individuals with gum disease are more likely to develop cardiovascular disease. The thought is that inflammation caused by gum disease can contribute to clogged arteries and an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. For diabetes, there is a two-way relationship between gum disease and diabetes. Not only are people with diabetes more prone to gum disease, but untreated gum disease can also make blood sugar levels harder to control. With Alzheimer's disease, disease, research has found oral bacteria in the brains of Alzheimer's patients, suggesting a possible connection between chronic gum infections and cognitive decline. And pregnancy complications. Pregnant individuals with untreated gum disease have a higher risk of preterm birth and low birth weight babies. And I'm not telling you all this to scare you. I don't think fear mongering is cool, but I do think it's cool to have the proper knowledge to be aware that there is some kind of association between the health of your gums and systemic diseases. And most importantly, to make sure we all know how to prevent this from all happening. It all begins with plaque, a sticky film of bacteria that builds up on your teeth. If not removed through daily brushing, flossing, and or cleaning between your teeth with other tools if needed, that plaque hardens into tartar, aka calculus, which can only be removed by a dental professional. This is why it's also crucial in addition to your personal daily home care of brushing and flossing to also visit your dental office regularly for professional teeth cleanings. Because if buildup is left on your teeth for too long, including both plaque and tartar, it will irritate the gums, leading to gingivitis, which is the earliest stage of gum disease. Gingivitis is reversible. I will link that video in mine below if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, it's important to know that if gingivitis is left untreated, it can progress into periodontitis, a severe form of gum disease that results in gum recession, bone loss, and eventually tooth loss. And most importantly, not that tooth loss isn't important, but we now know how gum disease has connections to all those systemic conditions we talked about earlier. So to prevent all this from happening, be sure to brush, floss, and visit your dental hygienist regularly. We have ways to check to confirm you don't have any signs of gum disease, such as perio charting, you know, taking the gingival measurements, as well as x-rays to check the level of the bone. We also look for red, swollen, bleeding, or sometimes even tender gums. Please note, if you smoke, gum disease signs and symptoms can be masked because smoking constricts the blood vessels in your gums. This can make your gums appear healthier than they actually are. So always be honest on your health forms about smoking so your dental provider can properly assess your gum health based on your smoking status. And for everyone, whether you smoke or not at home, if you ever notice a persistent bad breath or bad taste in your mouth, if you see your gums are pulling away from the teeth, gum recession, or your gums ever bleed when you brush and floss, these can all be signs of gum disease. Catching gum disease early makes all the difference. Like we said, gingivitis is the first stage of gum disease that is reversible with professional cleanings and improved home care. Again, that video of mine will be linked below. But once it progresses into periodontitis, the damage is often permanent. Once bone is lost, the bone that holds your teeth in, it's usually not possible to bring it back. And now it just becomes something we have to maintain over time. And now you may be at more of a risk for those systemic conditions if it's not properly treated and maintained. So overall, skipping dental cleanings and or skipping a day here or there of brushing and flossing at home doesn't just put your teeth at risk, it puts your entire body at risk. That's why taking care of your gums is just as important as caring for your teeth. The best way to be proactive, like we keep 
saying? Be sure to create an effective oral hygiene routine at home. To help you with this, I've put together a free oral care guide that walks you through the best practices for keeping your teeth and gums healthy. So click the link in the description or in the pinned comment if you want it. It's a free download. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, be sure to visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.